This building has four remarkable cantilevers that work visually and conceptually to define the space and to define not simply the footprint, but sort of the conceptual footprint of an art museum and containing art. And these long cantilevers, and I just saw this, this idea of dropping uh, a line okay, with a bottle or with a bucket or something. But when you, you have that idea, and it's this graphic, this arm, and then a line, and then an object with the weight holding it down, and you know that with the wind it's going to move and it's going to change. But what is the practicality of that? Uh, one of the typical soda bottles hanging would be lost in scale. Uh, we, I went through several other things that I had considered before, but they're, they're not heavy enough, uh, they're not appropriate somehow. Um, and then, boom, I had this vision of a marine buoy. Uh, so a ball, but it's a ball that has built into it a connector. Uh, and the idea of hanging a ball off of the ends, almost like a rubber paddle ball, um, that's one idea, certainly, but how do you attach anything to the ball so that you can suspend it without wrapping it around or try, making some strange mechanism? So the buoy has this attachment, but what's interesting about the buoy with the dropping is that I'm subverting its intent because it's meant to be the other way and floating, holding, being held down, but we've flipped the intent, it's now dropping, it's upside down, but it's still a buoy, and then that, the sense of that it, it buoys your uh, spirit, it, it, uh, it's, it's waiting, it's a weight on the end of the cantilever, but by pointing out the cantilever, the cantilever actually seems to soar more it's not being pulled down, so the buoy is in fact, it is elevating it, even though it's completely upside down. And it's all about scale, so to have an idea about something like that, um, and, and I had a picture in my mind completely, and did a little one minute of research on the internet and found the biggest buoy that exists that has those qualities and it's the perfect scale for this application. Um, any bigger it would look goofy, any smaller it wouldn't be right. Um, now I might have kind of conceived that it, I toss a rope and hang this thing, but then there are practical um, considerations when you're hanging something outside uh, we don't want it to snap and fall and break, whatever, so then you, you bring uh, professionals in who say that it needs to be this weight of a chain and it has to be attached in a certain way. And that's when, you know, the art becomes a project, but you have to do that in order to realize the art up front.